If you're looking for a totally free app that'll help you make your photos pop, and by pop, I mean look awesome. You wanna put text on it, you wanna crop it, you wanna put a bunch of love and personality in it and, and make a really awesome YouTube thumbnail, then I've got you covered. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Dean Nimmin, and you're watching the Master Your Mobile video series, where I help you take your mobile device and turn it into a pocket-sized production studio and so much more. So if you're ready to go, let's jump right in and open Snapseed. Now this is available on iOS and Android devices. It's totally free, no in-app purchases, and in my opinion, it is one of the best photo apps out there. It's absolutely incredible and it's very easy. And today I'm gonna to walk you through making a thumbnail. So let's open it and get started. When you open Snapseed, the first thing you're gonna notice is that a screen pops up that says you can tap anywhere to open a photo. So tap on that and then go find the photo that you wanna use for your thumbnail. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna do a travel vlog thumbnail because I just came back from Iceland and I've got a bunch of those types of pictures in my phone. So I'm gonna choose this picture, which is me sitting in the middle of the road in the middle of nowhere in Iceland. Now, we are gonna make a really simple thumbnail today. This is pretty much like a bare bones crash course on how to make a basic thumbnail. So now that your photo's open, the first thing you wanna do is go down to tools and find the crop feature. Now when you have the crop feature open, you're gonna see a whole bunch of options down there. You wanna to scroll to the far right, which is 16 to nine. That is the YouTube aspect ratio for a thumbnail. And when it loads up, you're gonna see guides on top of your picture. These are the lines here. Don't worry about that. Those are not gonna be in the final result. Those are to help you line up the picture when you crop the photo. So for this one, I'm going to line up that bottom line with the horizon there. And I'm gonna hit the check mark. I'm gonna go back to tools. I'm gonna hit rotate. And as you can see here, it's gonna auto rotate for me and put the horizon where it thinks it should go. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. You can kind of tweak it by placing your finger on the screen and just moving it left or right. When you get it where you want it, hit the check mark again. Pretty easy, huh? Now hit tools again. We're gonna go into tune image here on the top. Click that. And if you put your finger down and you scroll through, you're gonna see brightness, contrast, saturation, ambience, and so on. Uh, for this picture, I'm gonna add some ambience, which is I'm gonna bring up the midtones here. And you can see if you move your finger to the right and to the left, it's gonna add or take away. I'm gonna put mine about right there. I'm also gonna put a little bit of saturation, make that sky pop out a little bit. And I'm gonna hit the check mark. So I want the sky to be a little bit more blue, so I'm gonna to go to Tools, go to Selective, and see the little plus thing down there? I'm gonna just drop that right there and scroll that up and down, go to Saturation, and increase that. You see what's happening there? Now if you use two fingers, it's gonna show you in red the area that's being affected. So I'm actually gonna bring this out and make it pretty big because I want that to take over the whole sky. All right, I like that. Moving along, go back to tools, go down to text, double tap, and since we're in Iceland, we're gonna call this Iceland. You can use two fingers here and size it up, or you can use one finger and just move it up and down or left and right like this. Now down on the bottom, you're gonna see a few options. You can click on those and play around. You can change the font, you can see you can scroll through and choose a whole bunch of options here. I'm gonna use this one because that's the one that I like. It's bold and easy to read. And you can change the color. Tap there and you can see all kinds of colors. You can scroll through and tap whatever you want. Choose whatever looks good for you. I'm gonna choose yellow. Hit the check. Now Snapseed is obviously not the only app out there you can do this with. There's plenty of other great apps out there. It's just my personal favorite and it works perfectly into my workflow. Whatever works for you, that's great. If Snapseed doesn't work for you, that's fine too. If you wanna leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite app is or what you've currently been using to make your YouTube thumbnails, that would be great. I'd love to check it out, maybe do a tutorial on it and share it with everybody else. Let's get back to the thumbnail. Okay, now I'm gonna go and click on tools one more time. Hit text again, double tap that. And we're gonna drop our text right there. We're gonna resize it. And I'm gonna move it over and shrink it down.
Okay, now here's the thing. I liked it and I can't click on it. If I go back to it, I'm trying to get to it. I can't go back to edit. So what do you do? You go up to the top here, where you see the little backwards arrow in the layers. You tap on that, go to view edits, and you're gonna see a bunch of layers and that's what you actually did to edit the picture. So the last one that we added was the last bit of text. So I'm gonna click that. Now you have the option to delete it, to paint on a mask, which we're not gonna do in this tutorial, or adjust it. I'm gonna double click it and I'm gonna change the text. All right, I like that text better. Now I'm gonna enlarge it using two fingers. Just like that. Now that looks a lot better to me. Again, this is a very basic tutorial, so we're gonna keep it on the easy side for now. I might try to change the color a little bit. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna hit the check button. And if I wanna change the bigger text, I can go back and do that too. I can change the selective option. I can delete it. I can go back and retune the image if I want. But the important thing is, is you go all the way back to the top when you back out. All right, I like this. So I'm gonna export it and load it up for YouTube when I put my video online. We do that by hitting export and export. And it's gonna save a copy to your phone. It's not going to delete the original footage or overwrite it. You'll just have to go in and find it in your camera roll. I wanna thank you so much for watching the video. And if this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, followed by the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos and you don't miss anything. And I'll see you in the next video.